CFI Celebrity Style Inspiration Sa mga CSI viewers natin, we are indeed very lucky to have with us today one of not too many genuine movers and shakers of the Philippine entertainment and film industry today. Wow. Wala po siyang pagod and more importantly, <laughs> she puts her entire heart and her soul into everything she does. Uh, kami po sa entertainment, we've really witnessed the hard work and the genuine passion of this lady to really push the Filipino film to greater heights. So without further ado, it is my honor and my pleasure to welcome to CSI and of course the Manila Times TV studio, the chairman of the Film Development Council of the Philippines, none other than Ms. Lisa Dino Seguera. Ms. Tessa, thank Hello. you for that wonderful introduction. But <laughs> I'm very sure no na. Actually, um, all that I had to write down because I'm quite excited. Um, si Ms. Lisa ang first natin na uh, uh, live guest who's come <gasps> to the studio. You're our beautiful wow, mano, wow, and you truly wow. are. But you know, it is certainly the ba pride din naman namin to have somebody here talaga who we believe is really working hard thank para you, sa thank industry. You. Ms. Lisa, where did all of this come from? Your love for uh, Philippine cinema. Wow. Uh, it's my being a part, a big part of this industry. I, I've been an actress for the last 18 years. Mm -hmm. I may not be, you know, your top actress, your lead actress, but I'm actually a working actress who's mm -hmm. been, you know, um, just working out of passion because I really love it. It's an extension of myself. And siguro that's how I want to um, address young mm -hmm the reforms and the the changes that we need to do for the industry those experiences you know the highs and the lows the the success and the failures you have to really um personalize it eh. so mm -hmm. personal sa akin lahat ng ginagawa yes. ko oh, oh. i really think so kasi it's when you really feel for something no that it really pushes you to do your best oh, in yeah. everything yes, no? yes, and um yes. kasi nakakatawa si miss lisa um she really does um you know what you see is what you get you know if yeah. there are people <laughs> na merong comments about what's happening with the fdcp or or the industry she'll go on facebook and mm -hmm. she'll really say how she feels <laughs> um and, and you know it's refreshing because yeah. you know obviously people always try to put their best foot forward. Mm -hmm. Pero si Miss Lisa talaga, kung sasabihin niya na ganito, itsura ko today, kasi wala pa siyang tulog, <laughs> ganyan. But then today, she is gorgeous. Oh, uh, para sa'yo. This morning, para hindi she's, halata. she's just flown in from Cebu. She just came from six meetings. Pero ang pilik mata, sabi nga niya sa post niya this morning, diba, hindi halata. Pilik mata is yes. life. Well, let's tell them the reason why you're so busy uh, in the lead up to one of uh, the, I think, no, the greatest achievements so far of your time at the FDCP. And yeah. this is, of course, the Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino. Miss Lisa, tell us about this. It gets bigger and bigger every year. Uh, well, Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino is already on its third year. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just lucky and fortunate that this year we are celebrating it um, in time for the kickoff of the 100 years of Philippine cinema celebration. So, um, malaki na yung PPP as it is because it's a national film festival. Mas pinalaki pa siya dahil we're celebrating uh, it just in time for the launch of the 100 years of Philippine cinema. So, yes. ang laki ng responsibility namin to make sure that the opening mm -hmm. of this 100 years commemoration is going to be really historic. Yes. And we so. think definitely it will be. For those, um, of course, I'm sure a lot of people already know, no, the PPP, I think I call it a coup because um, apart from the Metro Manila Film Festival na matagal nang nandyan, si Chair Liza lang ang nakapag-mount ulit ng film festival na national na talagang all Filipino films ang pinapalabas. Yes. Alam naman natin yung uh, competition from Hollywood yes. is really yes. tough. Yes. But to be able to do that, no, um, in September is a great thing, syempre, for the industry. It may sound traditional kasi pista ng ng Pilipino, but napaka-savvy mm -hmm. at napaka-modern yes, yes. na ating chairman. And she has thought of yet another big prelude to the main event. Yes. At ito is happening on Saturday. This is the... 
the PPP3 Grand Fan Con. Oh, di ba? Talagang going with the times kami. Bakit tayo, Charlie, sa Fan Con? It helps that I have a very young staff. Yeah. So, sila yung, syempre, ako, Fans Day, mm. uh, Fan Fair, sila, Chair. Fan Con na ngayon. So, I have to really uh, keep it young. Yeah. Uh, in the last three years, talagang ang audience ng PPP ay ang mga kabataan, uh, the yuppies, the Gen Zs, and uh, they're looking forward to to really meeting the stars. Yes. And you know naman ngayon, um, it's very experiential. They have to touch it. They have yes. to feel it. They have to experience it. And that's what the Grand Fan Con is going to do. Mm -hmm. It's not just going to give you, you know, the stars up there performing, singing, uh, na, na, uh, mala variety show. No, you get to experience um, the theme of the film mm -hmm. with them. They're on the floor. Yes. They're inside. Uh, they're inside this mock sets. Yes. Na parang mga. Uh, it's a replica of uh, some scenes in their films, yes. and then you get to experience some elements that is in the film mm -hmm. with them. So that's exciting. So, super, uh, super. The visitors talaga will get into the scene and yes. up close yes. with the artista. Oh. If you can give us just a preview, um, not to play favorites, yeah. but what is exciting you? the most at the moment. Aling scene, aling pelikula, not to give away too much, Chair. Uh, siguro what I really love about the films is that it is your familiar genre. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of themes that are uh, close to your heart, mm -hmm. but it's... Um, uh, yung pinaka context niya and pinaka story niya mismo unconventional yes. like you have the panty sisters yeah. it's a family oriented uh -huh. movie uh -huh. it's a story mahilig tayo sa pamilya ng yeah. mga pelikula diba pero ito you're talking about unconventional families mm -hmm. a family of transgender trans yes. women so um uh, I'm, I'm so happy that we're able to 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 track on some um un uh, unconventional stories in a in a in a in a plat uh, in a genre na palatabo sa yes. sa mass audience Kasi, natin. Of course, when you talk about Filipinos, ang number one sa atin talaga lagi pamilya. Yes, diba? so this yes. is like a parang mm -hmm. hindi usual na theme. Pero yung pinaka overlying ano parin niya is is about the Filipino family. And for us to mainstream that, yes. diba? I mean, alam naman natin ngayon, even because of soji, because of uh, gender equality. Uh, pinag-uusapan niyan ngayon sa Kongreso kung paano natin mararating na magkaroon ng equality among uh, um, the LGBT community and tayo. Pero ito, ito yun eh, di ba? Pare-pareho lang tayo. It's yes. say, we're all the same. We're all, we all have families. Yes. So, happy ako. We have um, a film called Cuddle Weather. Mm -hmm. We have an era where ang dami natin mga kababaihang mapusok, yes. matatapang. Oh. Alam mo yun, talagang they challenge the norms. And no, medyo nawala na siya ngayon. So, mm -hmm. this is your um, 2.0 uh, <laughs> very, very bold and daring movie. Yes. And Sue Ramirez is really living up to the challenge. Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of her and how she's come out of her shell. I got to talk to her and she's really owning it. And but what I love about, kasi it's story siya ng mga prostitutes. It's, she's a prostitute here. Mm -hmm. But she gives them so much respect. Yes. And you're going to see them in a the different light. That's, so, uh -oh. that's why I'm so proud of yeah. all the films. Because it's like that. There's also Jean Garcia in Watch Me Kill, Yes. A dramatic actress. Or Madame Claudia, the glamorous Madame Claudia, deglamorized and holding a long a, a gun. Diba? As an assassin. As an, uh -oh. As an assassin. Actually, uh -oh. hindi naman siguro sinasadya, Cher, pero parang empowering sa mga kababaihan yes. ang mga pelikula ngayon which which also reflects of course your your personality oh yeah so, um i think right now um kasi ang sinasabi nila yung representation ng women in philippine cinema laging weak mm -hmm. laging kawawa laging may magsasave sa kanya you know with the star the, the films that we have in the lineup mm -hmm. these are Empowered women. This yes. is these are women who are able to hold their own fort, and 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 uh, and uh, I'm proud. Because ano na eh, yun na, yun na tayo ngayon. And I think we've been that the whole time. Yeah. It's just that before it's so conservative. Now for you, pag naging matapang ka, parang you're perceived as negatively. Mm -hmm. So ngayon, parang we're celebrating strong women now. So yay! <laughs> I hope that everybody watching on our digital TV feels 
the enthusiasm that, ah, that, yeah. <laughs> that Lisa brings talaga to all of these advocacies uh, and all of these topics. Pero Cher, I'm just wondering, um, because you are, you know, talagang fighter for Filipino movies and, you know, sabi mo nga, uh, na, you know, you've grown up in this industry. Do you think, apart from acting, eventually, would, do you have a story in mind that you may want to write and maybe a movie that you may want to direct someday? Baka lang, <laughs> Because the passion, I think, can take yeah. you so many places. Actually, before I became chair, Ice and I took uh, classes, we took workshops mm-hmm. sa Moal Fund okay, okay. because there's a film that's the uh, gusto namin going dalawa. And it's it's really, um, uh, it's it's our story, it's a, it's a story of our family. Because there are so many stories about LGBT, about relationships mm-hmm. ng mga LGBT. Pero wala talagang kwentong nage explore sa talagang pamilya na. Mm-hmm. And t- we are a trans family, eh, mm-hmm. ba? So I've seen my daughter grow up with such, with no judgment. Yes. Alam mo yung perception niya about the world, perception niya about humanity. Mm-hmm. Pare-pareho tayong lahat. Wala siyang konsepto na, ay, kailangan babae, lalaki lang. Kailangan, no, siya, um, uh, uh, she grew up na understanding that love is genderless. And it's that journey that mm-hmm. Ice and Amara took yes. so that they can develop this beautiful relationship how Amara, my daughter, has has accepted Ice as uh, her dad, mm-hmm. as her step-parent. Mm-hmm. And paano yung dynamics namin bilang isang pamilya. Kasi mas, hindi masyadong nakakwento yung mga yes. ganito. Oh, na uh-huh. Normal kami, yeah. di ba? Yes. Parang ganun. Actually, so. <laughs> sabi ko nga, even for you, what people perceive as, mm-hmm. you know, yung couple na, mm-hmm. you know, male and female. You know, if you all follow Cher Liza, Nakaka inspire, especially for married people like me who are busy. And then, bigla na lang in the middle of everything, she gets to have a month siri with Ice. Yes. Of course, we're talking about <laughs> Ice Segera, the yes. singer, the former NYC commissioner. And um, talagang ibang kasi yung relationship nila. You can see the strength there. And yes, for us yes, to yes, one yes. day see a movie like this, will definitely open up uh, views no? mm-hmm. on, on, on mm-hmm. all of these mm-hmm. really, really. Yes. Um, pressing issues na we all have to uh, address yes. sa ngayon. Ang daming nangyayari siya sa mundo, <laughs> no? And it's great you're part of all of, most of it. Yes. And uh, masarap din sa showbiz ka part kasi Uh-oh. masaya. <laughs> and we get to immortalize these things through film. Yes. Because, you know, film is so powerful mm-hmm. when it comes to try, uh, to conveying possibly taboo messages yes. na minsan hindi naiintindihan ng tao, mm-hmm. you know? Um, it's, the, it's the kind of art that just completely changes a person after having that experience. Mm-hmm. So, with that, there's so many things that we can do that can actually probably, you know, change people's perception about things. And and I'm just happy that this is me. I'm able to 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 promote our films, our stories, mm-hmm. not just to the local audience, but all over the world. Share so. just to put some dates on all of these wonderful activities surrounding the PPP. Could we just uh, give a rundown of them? So the FanCon is happening. Uh, the FanCon is happening on Saturday, uh, August 31, sa SMX, uh, from 9 o'clock till Sawa. I think it's still 10 o'clock. Uh, um, uh, it's right beside SMOA. Yes. So and it's huge. Yes, 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 yes. It's a whole day of event. Oh, 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 oh. Of these yes, things. fan convention. So fan con, oh. uh, meaning fan convention. Yes. So we have all the seven. Uh, we have all the ten films. May kanya kanya silang booth all day. They will be there, just going around. Uh, uh, nga, you can have a drink with Arcy Munoz. You yeah. can have. Uh, meron di kami Peria Games, kasi that's PPP. Yeah. So may mga mananalo kayo ng festival passes pag pag na pag na pop kanyo yung mga balloon mga ganyan no wala yung mga ganyang games may Ben and Ben concert in the evening so you get the feel of LSS the one of the films also um, and then uh, on September 12 is the Cine Sandaan this is uh, the celebration of uh, the 100 years of Philippine cinema we will where uh, we will be uh, um, recognizing the luminaries the icons and the unsung heroes that really shaped our uh, uh, the history of Philippine cinema. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a uh, parang mala Oscars. We wow. are closing the entire street yes. in front of New yes. Frontier. Uh-huh. Um, 
We will have bleachers for the fans. Mm -hmm. We will have tickets actually for lucky um, uh, fans na uh, makaka attend. Yes, wearing a, a Philippine Filipiniana oh, outfit. Strictly Filipiniana. Strictly Filipiniana siya ngayon. Uh -oh. yes, and then um, that event itself, we will have we have Ryan Kayabyab who wrote one of the songs. Vincent De Jesus, the amazing Vincent De Jesus, who wrote the opening number. It's a musical. Mm -hmm. So, ang ganda ganda ng uh, preparations for this. Sure, you know, obviously you've been to so many festivals around the world, no? Ever since you started at FDCP, did we invite these people to come to our big hundred year celebration? <laughs> well, which countries are we expecting to come? Uh, we have countries from Israel, U.S., uh, Amsterdam. Uh, meron tayong galing. Uh, 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 Thailand, we have uh, Asian partners coming. We have different fem film festival programmers okay, attending. So that is so exciting. And, and, and not just one step. It's a yes. huge leap into showing the yes, world yes. what we can do as yes. filmmakers, as actors, and as creators. Yes, and of course, PPP, September 13. It opens September 13 nationwide in all cinemas nationwide. Yes. And then September 13 to 15 is the Film Industry Conference, our very first uh, FDCP project market. So, ito naman, kung gusto nyo namang matuto, gusto nyo ma malaman kung ano yung mga trends in our uh, film industry, we have international experts coming wow. okay. to teach you on how to work with uh, Netflix, how to work in the streaming platforms, all those. Wow. So, okay. grabe. And then, we have the awards night on Fe September 15 in the evening where, uh, for the first time, we will be giving awards from uh, uh, technical awards to our best actress, mm -hmm. best picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and first time then for FDCP yeah. to. So, so, yeah. Exciting, mm -hmm. and now I can see why a day <laughs> consists of six meetings because to yeah. really be able to put all of this this together, chair, uh, you know, being part of showbiz kahit papano having been on the side na nagko-chronicle nito I want to thank you really mm -hmm. for wow. all of it I mean I know I've messaged her before like little messages minsan kasi talagang nakakagulat lang at this time na there are people talaga who really really put their everything into it sometimes um, yung sarili mong uunahin yeah, yeah. I mean, some people do that but with Cher Lisa talaga and I think her staff can attest to this <laughs> grabe yung grabe kahit may baha susunod <laughs> So, um, share one last thing. I just also want them to know that beyond, you know, making films and pushing films into the international arena, si Cher inaalagaan din kasi niya ang manggagawa sa pelikula. Yes, Cher, sure. could you please just tell us a little bit about what you have been doing to protect naman yung rights Our workers. ang yes. workers natin. Itong favorite part ko rin sa Yes. Um, so, in the last two years, uh, actually, we launched it in uh, the Film Workers Summit in 2017. But being very new in the industry, I didn't know how to really work through government. Honestly, I didn't know who to talk to. I didn't know kung sino yung dapat kong lapitan. But, you know, you learn. If you really want something, you, you try to achieve it. And we're happy because uh, this year, um, Dole has prioritized um, the welfare of the movie industry. Um, there is um, uh, a bill uh, called the Eddie Garcia Act, which protects um, our film workers, providing makataong working conditions para sa kanila, working hours, and, um, and safety guidelines mm -hmm. uh, for people working in the industry. Uh, it's setting uh, uh, recommended minimum wage tables. Mm -hmm. um, how do we treat them on the set? And dami natin mga extras na tutulog sa karton, mga ganon. Yeah. This will set a standard for everything. And I feel like siguro kaya ganito yung naging industriya natin. It's because wala lang standards. Kanya-kanya yeah. kasi lahat. Okay, yeah. So now we just want to get to a, a minimum standard that will be... Um, uh, um, beneficial and will protect our workers, but at the same time, creating a conducive environment for us to just continue making films ng, ng, uh, sa, sa safe na paraan. Oh. I guess so, our message to the industry, don't be afraid of change. Yeah. Kasi minsan lang, oh. marami na tayong nakasanayan, and then just because nakasanayan natin, mm -hmm. di ba? Pero if it's going to be for the benefit of more and more people yeah, of the entire yeah, industry, uh -oh. then let's, let's go with the change. Yes. Give a chair. Yes. Nega, nega. Especially <laughs> since we're, 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 yeah. we're looking into the next hundred years of Philippine yes. cinema. We want to make sure that it's a sustainable industry. We want to make sure that our workers are taken care of because they're still the ones who are going to be the industry. Natin. Looking up from there, forward looking, um, everybody always says uh, the Philippine industry is a sick, you know, parang it's dying and all that. 
I always never believe that <laughs> and I think you never will. So um anong projection mo chair uh, sa anong magigi anong mangyayari sa atin sa Philippine cinema? And maybe let's just go the first 10 10 20 years ganyan. I think we are going through a transition. Mm -hmm. um, the exhibition industry is going through a transition. Mm -hmm. But there are so many platforms now that are making content creation so accessible and doable. I think what we need to do is to make sure that as they continue to create you know, beautiful films, beautiful content for these platforms, that they know their rights. They know their value. Mm -hmm. Because... At the end of the day, sustainability is when you know how you can exploit and optimize your investment. And that is your creation. Yeah. And I think that is what's lacking here. I mean, um, ang nangyayari kasi binibigay mo lahat kasi gusto mo lang siya makita on the big screen. And in the end, biglang, ay, nabigay ko pala lahat ng rights ko. Oo nga. Hindi so, di mo alam, there's so many rights. You can, you can, yeah. There's now digital rights, yeah. animation rights, theatrical rights, mm -hmm. territorial rights. I mean, mm -hmm. and I think this is education. Mm -hmm. uh, um, right now, I, I feel like the industry is, is starting to understand this. Mm -hmm. Na parang it's going beyond just making films. It's going beyond just producing content. It's yeah. now finding ways for them to understand that there is a business that is attached to it, whether it is for commercial profit or for you to just be able to make your next film. Yes. Uh, there, we need to understand these things. Oh, para wala nang struggling filmmaker na phrase or concept, oh, oh. And let's all yeah. take pride in what we do. And, and one thing I love about the Philippine film industry now is now they're understanding production value. Mm -hmm. Because of these platforms giving strict requirements in terms of technical, uh, um, uh, how do you say that, yeah, meeting technical requirements. Yes. Now they're understanding that, ay, hindi pwede yung sound ko, ganyan-ganyan lang. Uh -huh. Kailangan 5.1 na magandang audio post-production. Uh -huh. So ngayon, they're putting more time more value, more money, more pride and in their work. Yes, yeah, that's so important because that represents you, eh, mm -hmm. ba? So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, we're getting there. Pero I share para naman yung isang project na not so long ago na announced. Oh my God! Pagkano yun nagkaka time pa ba tayo don? They're looking into making their family bigger. O pagkatapos yes. sa PPPP o ano ba? <laughs> uh, in September, yes. uh, actually, right after PPP, we plan to go to the, well, ISA is a show in the US and mm -hmm. I plan to follow for a few days mm -hmm. because um, dadali na namin yung, ano, yung the thing. <laughs> Well, you said it na. Uh, si Cher took themselves really well. They harvested um, eggs. Yes, nandun na, na yun. So ngayon, um, yun na yung uh, fertilization. Yeah. How exciting. And hopefully by December, I'll be ready na. Sana po, huwag niyo po kami bigyan ng problem sa industry. Yeah. <laughs> Para by December, medyo ready na ako yeah. to, to, um, to get pregnant. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> We're very happy to hear all of these good things. Thank you. And uh, we can see it in your eyes, the twinkle there. <laughs> You're excited with your personal life. You're yeah. excited with your career. Chair, anong ano? What, what else is it that you're ano, hoping to be able to do? I just want to, ano, uh, I just want to, parang, I don't want to go back to this industry I love without knowing that I wasn't able to do anything to impact change. So, yun lang. <laughs> there has been, you have done a lot yes, already. Thank you. And I'm sure that we will expect even more from you. So, mm -hmm. Chair Lisa, thank you so much for being here thank on you. CSI. Uh, we are really thank you, honored everyone. that you are here and we wish you and the rest of the team the best of luck for the PPP mm -hmm. at Ang Manila mm -hmm. Times will always be supporting all of your projects. Thank Chair you, Ms. Tess. Grabe. You've always been so supportive. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, um, Chairman Lisa Dino of the Film Development Council of the Philippines. Yay! CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration